York State cut at the market so what I have to do here I have to cut it into a pork strip cut so I can cut it later with the flour I have here so you will see it though it would take time cutting it to put more that would be okay it depends on you you can choose next we will try to sprinkle some magic syrup on it this is about half kilo of pork so I'm sprinkling now the magic syrup on our pork strips now we will try to mix it up that would be okay if you can use one pack of magic syrup that would taste good. But if you don't want to make it salty, you can just put a little bit of magic syrup or a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt or the black pepper itself, that would do. Here we go. Here we go. I'm done putting some seasoning on it. So I'll just put this one uh, in the wrap for 30 minutes. And after that one, I can uh, coat it with the flour. Okay, after 30 minutes, here we have our refrigerated 1 kilo pork. So the next step that we are going to do, we have to prepare the all-purpose flour. This is perfect for baking, cooking, and creating sauces. So right after also making our tang so you, we are going to make a sauce for our dish. Next, we also need to have the breadcrumbs to make the pork become thicker and crispy to eat it. Next, we also need to have two eggs for our half kilo pork to be deepened later on. So first, we have to coat the pork in the wet flour. So you can just do like this. Coat it. Alright, so while waiting for the flour to be absorbed, we have to prepare also our eggs here. Next, we have to beetle the two eggs. We have to crack it. Practically. 
two eggs. And we have to stir it. We don't have the stirring uh, material for the egg, so I just use the fork for it because my husband told me it's just the same thing buying the stirring I want to it. Uh, stirring material for the egg. I want to it too. So you want to join cooking with me today? So he's trying to stir it. Be careful, little boy. You have to be careful not to spill it, or else we can't make our tang suyu. And it's up to you to add uh, salt in it. Ooh, so I'll choose to uh, add My some friend. salt. Me you friend. have to um, just a little salt in it. And it gets yummy. Okay, to become yummy. Okay, here you go. We have to stir it this friend. way. Okay, that's enough. Okay, can you throw it? Okay. Thank you. Okay, the next step we have here. We have to prepare now the pork. First, dip the pork in the egg. Egg. Dip it. Dip, dip, dip. I just do it this way. I prepare it all first before I'll... Now I dip it in the breadcrumbs to make it uh, thicker and crispy. So yeah, you and loves eating it, right? This is what Halmoni usually cooked to us when we were still in Korea, right? It's so yummy. Okay, we have here one and so on. Yeah. Dip it in the egg and also in the bread crumbs. So we can have it later on. But my mother-in-law, he will, he, she usually doubles it when she cooks, so it is very thicker inside. First, she has to dip it in the egg, and next she would again dip it in the flour, and lastly the bread crumbs. So it's a really thicker. And it was so delicious when we had it in Korea for 8 months. So I was inspired to make Tang Suyu by my mother-in-law. Yeah, we can have it later. Okay. After 8 minutes, here is the color of our pork. And it's called Tang Suyu already. Oh, look. It looks delicious. Another way of cooking tang soyu is to double cook it. First, uh, you have to put it in the frying pan for about 2 minutes and then you have to remove the pork in the frying pan and let it cool for a while and then try to put the other pork in the frying pan. And then when it gets cold, you have to put it again in the frying pan. So it would be crispier this way, but I prefer it this way. Just uh, cook it immediately without removing it from the frying pan because it would it would take time removing it, and again you will put it back. So I prefer it this way. I think it's almost cooked, so I'll remove it. This is our first cook, uh, first set cook of our tang suyu. And yes. this is how it looks like. It's ready, mommy. Yeah, it's ready to eat. It's golden brown. It looks delicious. Since our tang soyu is already cooked, we need to make a soy sauce for this. So in making our soy sauce, we need to use flour, water, vinegar. And I use the Korean vinegar. And soy sauce and, and two salt. spoon of sugar and, and also you can mix onion yes mommy apple and red pepper 
bell pepper. Yeah, I can make it. And for my tang soyu today, I use also pineapple for my sauce. And also you can use cucumber or carrot in it if you like to have a more delicious uh, soy sauce for your tang soyu. Sauce being heat in the fire. So make sure when you heat your soy sauce, you have to keep on stirring it so it the flour won't stick in the pot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope guys you'll still watch my next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.